having not seen very many researchers who look like me and thinking that research was something that happened in a lab with someone with a white coat and it felt very detached and cold, these were researchers who were warm and funny and outgoing. I think for me it was just a wonderful opportunity to find like-minded people you know who are really engaged in doing this work around health equity and you know if you're an MD, an MPH, an acupuncturist, a chiropractor or a yoga therapist like myself just really understanding that we all we all are committed right to this work and how do we advance it. My project mentor um, Dr. Sora Piawa making herself available and supporting me again as a budding researcher to understand the work um, and to really allow me to feel like I had a voice um, in terms of the project and what I was working on. They were really in insightful, informative, and supportive in terms of providing me with opportunities to network with individuals who could you know, also kind of provide their insight and additional resources. In terms of like the professional development, I really began to see that I didn't have to try to be something that I wasn't, that I could bring my full self into my work and that passion, that interest, that drive would allow me to better serve my community. It really allowed me to feel like I had a more robust professional development plan um, and was actually able to, to execute because I had the, the backing of the I Hear Fellowship. Just really kind of understanding, again, the ways in which, like historically, many you know, individuals of, of color, African Americans in particular, haven't had access. And it's kind of seeing, seeing it in action, like kind of seeing and listening and reading through the transcripts of the participants who participated in the study, um, understanding their stories. And I think that is really where the heart of solving a lot of these problems that we have in terms of like healthcare access and equity really stems from.